Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to session 111. In today's session, I'm going to be going through four live trades I took on the 6J, which is a currency futures market, and I'll show you a recording. Once again, uh, I was live trading, I thought, oh, I should just record this. So I'd already fired off one trade, there's no sound to it, but I'll give you commentary when we get to it so you can actually watch how I place my trades. But most importantly, I I want to then explain um, uh, exactly what I'm doing so you get to understand the type of setups that I'm looking for I'm actually very excited about this market particularly for you the trader um, I have got so many new traders that join me and they're still working jobs and we all know what the word acronym is jobs just over broke or should I say job uh, so therefore they're looking for a market when they get home from work they can start trading the great thing about the yen about the currency futures yen particularly over Forex is that come around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time it really picks up you start to get some really good volume and I'll show you a couple of things on that in a moment now the yen is six dollars twenty five per tick it's actually a contract that's put out by the CME very easy to learn it, it just trends beautifully I'm just looking at it right now it just trends beautifully even more important not only does it trend but there's um, just a ton of buyers and sellers which makes it great for trading basically nearly 23 hours a day now in the New York afternoon it gets very very quiet of course it's the middle of the night over in Japan however uh, come 7 p.m. when the market opens actually it opens up in to Tokyo at uh, 8 p.m. At the moment just subject to these are subject to uh, daylight saving hours but as of the time I'm recording this 8 p.m. the market opens okay so we really start to see the volume kicking and it just trends beautifully now the other option uh, if you like to trade after hours and futures is that you could trade the Nikkei now the CME does put out a contract for the Nikkei however it's uh, it's not a direct contract with the mark with the exchange in Osaka okay so that means the volume is quite low but the yen I'm very excited for for traders because as I'm going to show you got great volume it trends uh, beautifully uh, easy to learn how to trade uh, six dollars 25 a tick and so there's a, there's a whole range of benefits uh, to it so let's get into this now here as most of you are aware if you're um, uh, subscribed to my channel I have what I call target $1,000 a day I believe in what I call power of putting in and out that is I want to uh, get in get out get paid and finish for the day now for the young guns watching this $1,000 a day probably is not enough for you you want to earn more so that's where you might put in more time I want to wrap my trading up within two two hours usually I've wrapped things up within 40 with typically 15 minutes to one hour and that's it uh, today's session I think was about an hour you'll get to see that um, in a moment uh, so if a thousand a day is not enough you increase your or the number of contracts that you're actually trading but I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit here now this session will probably go for 30 minutes stick around because uh, I, even if you're an experienced trader I'm going to give you some ideas I promise that have the potential of trading or changing let me say that right your trading career so let's get into this now first of all there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose and of course please feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer in full if you haven't already just a very quick advertisement I'll turn my air conditioner off here uh, click on the description link below and you can download my ebook and you'll also see links below for the Excel spreadsheet and you'll get to see that in a moment the calculations that I use on the true potential and I'm talking about sensible potential in what you can really earn as a scalper and as a day trader uh, so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already even better still 
become a member this is where the ad is and I'll 30 seconds it'll be over for $197 you can join my community uh, you get all of my indicators you're about to see uh, there's over 200 hours of training there's 35 36 PowerPoints um, look my members area is literally uh, a gold mine I don't even bother putting up that testimonial C because you've, you've just got to see what I'm about to show you you'll get it um, and so for 197 you get the works lifetime access I also have a bonus going where for uh, within the 197 you also get eight live coaching sessions that is I run private group coaching I also run a live trading room as well that's besides that but I run live coaching sessions every Tuesday and Wednesday evening 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. where you get to log in watch listen and learn where I'm explaining everything from money management through to which markets to trade how to trade them uh, how to identify we go from the right hand side of the screen exactly explaining exactly what we're looking for um, uh, did I mention the psychology of trading I think I did all of that's included in the 197 and then after that should you wish to continue for $97 a month it's a separate subscription you drop me an email hey this is that good I want to stick around and so you generally find there's around 200 traders in these um, sessions end of it end of advertisement let's get into this and I will turn this hair back on it's quite a hot day where I'm located um, so a game changer for 98% of a population $1,000 a day trading part-time 5,000 a week how do we do that I'm not going to give you any starry-eyed figures of earning 500 to a thousand dollars a day per contract can you do that absolutely is it probable for most traders absolutely not on the other hand earning 100 to 300 dollars a day is extremely realistic for an experienced trader trading these patterns and you'll see the patterns in a moment geometric patterns that appear in the market day in day out now with the 6 j or with the currency futures what's a sensible daily target 100 to 200 dollars a day depending on the market and what I mean by depending on the market you go and look at the 6a which is the Australian market uh, and in fact let me show you this this is called the market analyzer and what this does traders so I track all of the markets here I'm interested in so if we look at the 6j at the time of recording there's been 27,000 contracts change hands uh, on the 6a the Aussie dollar there's been 16,000 on the 6b the uh, British pound there's only six eight thousand contracts and on the uh, 6e and all of that will change in the next hour because we're heading towards the London open there's only been 11,000 contracts now you compare that say to the ES has been 30,000 so this is the after hours market also known as the Globex market now if you want to trade 100 contracts yes you just can't beat the New York hours okay you've got massive volume however if you're going to be trading maybe it look realistically up to 20 30 contracts especially on the yen on the ES of course you're not going to have any problems at all and this is where I'm excited because I've been doing a lot of trading on the RTY on the Russell and with the Russell uh, and if we look at this here actually I've got a slide on it and this is important that you know this so down here this and I know this is very hard to see this is the ES this is the RVN this is the RTY the NQ and the 6A now this is at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time now you may say well look uh, I'm going to trade during the New York New York hours fantastic you don't have this issue however if you're still working a job or if you want a market that you can trade that's just that bit slower now's the time to be trading from 8 p.m. onwards now realistically you can start trading many markets from 6 p.m. however you don't have the volume now this is what I want to show you see over here on the ES 16 contracts 37 50 46 great volume 
over here at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time 11 p.m. Eastern you got 36 40 50 um, uh, contracts then we've got the RTY 1 2 5 10 okay so you just don't have the volume now we go over to the NQ uh, look at this one two five contracts and you can even see there there's a spread the difference between what someone's willing to pay okay so the, so you will get what we call slippage then over here we've got the 6a okay so we've got plenty of um, uh, uh, volume here. here's what the problem is you want to be trading the market that gives you the biggest reliable waves okay you want the waves in the market like as we're live right now let me pull this chart down and just show you this right now so this is live now each one of these steps now we're looking at the Renko candles here now you can use time-based charts um, tick charts uh, whatever rocks your boat okay range charts it really doesn't matter I've, I've been trading range now for years and I love them but I'll sometimes look over at my tick charts as well okay because what what range will do sorry what uh, rank I'll do they smooth out price action but sometimes we can miss out on some information but overall they, they give you everything you need now each one of these steps see this here these are what we call two tick Renko's so from the low to the high of the candle ignoring any tails okay just taking your bodies that's two ticks which is uh, what's that $13.50 $12.50 my apologies $12.50 so each step there is half of that okay so as we step down and I wasn't going to show you this chart this is called an overlay chart by the way um, but each step down uh, is six dollars twenty five what you're after is between 16 and 25 of those a day and you as you're about to see can become fabulously wealthy on that and I'll show you that how you do that so what we need is between 16 and 25 a day now you may say why 16 to 25 well that's between basically uh, 100 and 150 dollars per contract per day and so I'll show you that more as we get to, but what I want to show you here sorry is uh, uh, is the trends now something else I'm going to be showing you a slide in a moment of five things that I'm looking for each day I want to know where my pivots are where my major EMAs are any intraday swings any major intraday swings and the current days high and low for an example there's yesterday's low and here's the current days low now the great thing about uh, these is that um, virtually every trading platform has these where they plot automatically now we are going to run out of time and explaining these in detail but once you understand them they're very very easy to trade okay now you look at this here and so the market opened way back here now see the white my white super scalper that gives me my entries and I want to be following what I call the cloud but I want to be doing something else as well I want to be looking at what my higher time frames are doing if you use an overlay chart you can put that there I'll show you the standard chart that I use most of the time but note up here this is called a pivot bounce and now I've got divergence this here I want you to whiz here what have we got just here see this here traders this is called a pivot bounce okay and if you look at your higher time frame that is just a no-brainer trade to take but let's get past that for a moment we're jumping ahead a little bit so first thing in as far as a market to go seriously the yen is hands down better than the Russell uh, than the Aussie dollar and the NQ now all of those 
uh, the RTY, the Russell, the NQ, and the Australian dollar are all five dollars a tick. Yes, it's six dollars a tick, not much of a difference. Now, one disadvantage that we have with this market is the micros. We're on the Russell, uh, on the NQ, we've got the micro contracts, okay, which is 10% of the value, so you can start there. Now I'm about to show you how much money you need to trade this money, sorry this market, this market I should say, the right way, but you might have to start perhaps on the Russell and build your account, because as you're about to see, doing it correctly you need around $3,000. You cut corners in this business and you're never going to make it. That is if you're undercapitalized, this is... Uh, a business and unfortunately so many traders they watch a YouTube video someone some guru shows them how to trade a market and they're not giving them a the truth as far as what's really involved or the capital requirements if you go into this under capitalize you're going to blow your account okay and what it does is more than just blow your account you, you yes you can top it up a number of times but psychologically it really is damaging it truly is you start to hesitate in executing trades where time really is of the essence now I've already mentioned one great thing about this market it, it fires up sort of from 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time but at 8 p.m. you've got the Tokyo open and that's where you see a lot more volume in this market at 6:37 p.m. it's tradable your first 30 minutes there's plenty of buyers and sellers there but there's just not a whole lot they're waiting for the activity to kick in from around 7 p.m. now let's get some clarity uh, clarity around how much money do we really need to trade this market correctly and what's a realistic goal and target to go for you see clarity traders it allows you to hone in it, it gives you um, yeah it gives you focus and so let's look at some realistic and I'm just jumping ahead a couple of slides here so first of all we want to stay within what I call the 2% rule we never ever ever risk more than 2% of our capital in any one trade now what that means is this when we're trading the 6e or um, which is the the euro dollar uh, the pound or the yen okay realistically we need an account of around three thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars and the reason for that is what I'm about to show you you may have a stop loss of up to 10 ticks okay so sixty two dollars fifty so what that means is you need to have an account where you're not trading any more than two percent now you can get away an experienced trader could get away with two and a half thousand dollars to trade what I'm about to show you however your stop out rate will be a little bit higher as well for your best trading opportunities you want to have an up to a 10 tick stop and you'll see that I'm just watching the clock here now if on the other hand you're going not on the other hand but here if um, you're going for your 25 ticks a day that's it 25 ticks a day that's actually just slightly under or that's slightly over 157 you've got the potential of earning $12,000 a week within 14 weeks now the great thing about it is here that you're only trading 17 contracts and you truly can trade 17 contracts we're on the Russell uh, on eight contracts I'm getting slippage all the time okay sometimes two ticks even up to three ticks which is an issue for me and so here you've got no problems and in the four trades the four winners I'm going to be showing you uh, I had no I think if I had I think I had zero slippage which was wonderful so by week 14 now how this table works and you can download this so you can play around with the figures and there's a little training video is that um, you only start trading a second contract each time you double your money so you start off with the three one two five once you double that you go to two contracts and then you go to three you're using the markets money and so we can see here by week 14 okay so week 14 whoops by week 14 down here um, uh, we're earning well in this case twelve thousand a week uh, fifty eight thousand in our account now 
the next question is then how how do I actually do it? All looks good so far, right? All right, yep, get home from work. I'll roll up my sleeves, turn the television off. By the way, I'm still amazed that um, how many people will say to me, how many dreamers will say, well, look, I get home from work and I just want to chill. I want to, you know, grab a beer and turn the TV on. Well, what would it mean to your life if you could be earning a $1,000 plus in two or three hours each evening? Would you change your lifestyle? What would it mean to you and your family? It would be life changing. You can quit your job. You can then potentially long term and even change the hours that you're trading. Uh, so this is not going to be for everyone. Okay. Now, yes, what I'm about to show you also, you can trade any market using exactly the same setups. Most of you know I trade oil. I trade the ES. In fact, here are the markets that I do or can trade. There's a whole range of them. Okay, so there's just a ton of opportunities. But for trading after hours, for learning and mastering the art of day trade, it's perfect. It really is. Now, in today's session, I'm going to show you four out of four trades that I had. And I'm just going to quickly change that, just checking that what's happening live on the market. So I had four out of four in 60 minutes. So it's a bit longer than what I'd normally be trading for. Now, it wasn't perfect trading. And I'm going to show you these here. We'll go to the charts. And the reason being, there are rules. And you'll hear me talk about in a moment, pivots. And I had yesterday's open down here. Let me start with this one over here. So first of all, for members watching, we had basically a T10 uh, right up there, and then I had a T12. Now, I give my setups codes because it's a lot easier in my live trading room when I just say we've got a T10, we've got a 2B, or whatever. So I took this trade then uh, up to the high here. Uh, thank you very much. I then shorted here. Thank you very much. And then I added to my position. When I'll, I'll add to a position if I'm in the green, that is if I'm making money. So I entered the trade up here, then came down. It was an exact 50% retracement. It rallied up and then we bounced. Oh, let me explain it. I forgot. I've got a video. I recorded it. Let's go to the video. My goodness. My apologies. So what we'll do, let me uh, explain it uh, here as we go along. It's only six minutes. Okay, it's only six minutes. So first of all, I'd already jumped in. So for members watching this, we had a, uh, I was a bit late on the T10, but I jumped in on the second entry just here. So we had two entries uh, and I was buying up to the major EMAs. Now, cross the 200, when you cross under a 200 EMA, what you'll generally find is you've got a greater opportunity for a new trend. So you're more likely to have some really reliable trend following setups. So here, except for the T10, which is a reversal confirmation, I was only trading with the, tr with the, with the trend itself. This is a no-brainer. And here, by the way, we call this, this is a, what we call for the experienced traders, a little two-legged pullback. So... I'd already taken this trade, thank you very much. Now, what I was about to say is that I'll only add to a position if I'm already in the green. Now, I only trade at a maximum of 1% risk uh, per position I've got open. As you build your account traders, you want to drop from 2% down to 1%. Yes, it means a lower rate of return, but it's still enormous long term. So you want to lower your risk. I'm in my 60s, so I just don't want the stress. So you lower your risk, and it just makes it easier for trading. Now, initially, when you start, maybe 2%, maximum of 2%, but build your account, you drop your risk level. So here, and what I mean by that is if you're already 2% exposed, even if you're in the green, uh, I recommend you don't add to a position okay because then you'd have four percent exposure and god forbid something terrible happens and you get stopped out and you wipe out four percent plus of your account we're really about risk management we've got to be managing our risk at all hours so 
we get a pullback uh, nice trade I've then got um, uh, and I call this a 3b by the way that's a 3b and let's go along and I'll just keep this rolling now and I'll just explain uh, everything that I was doing here so first of all I decided as I'm trading here to start recording so I'm in my second position and I'm up 275 on this particular trade here okay and I'm just looking around thinking what am I going to do here as you can see here it's not terribly fast it's just so this is it this is the real speed by the way I was just measuring uh, the sort of pullback we've got right here I I don't use Fibonacci levels in my trading really actively but um, I'll quite often refer to them sometimes they can help identify a potential reversal but what I want you to notice here is we just crossed under this is my one up here okay uh, we just crossed under the 200 and what that means is you're much less likely to have a reversal so just there I had another t10 set up just there okay so I'm looking at this here uh, I'd entered the trade based upon the t10 uh, and if I didn't get in there I've now got another entry now down below remember a few minutes ago I was talking to you about pivots see up see up here how we bounced off that found a bit of support here bit of support here now this is uh, this is a Camarilla pivot this is yesterday's close yesterday's open they all they're not officially pivots that is the open high low and close but they act like pivots they're price magnets because we as professionals we buy and sell into these levels and they become what we call a self fulfilling prophecy and if anything they're what I call predictive indicators back on here if I was not in that one I've got a trade entry uh, right here that's what we call a 2b now down here I'm actually what I call front running uh, this pivot yesterday's open and front running means I'm actually going to get out before I hit that level and the reason being will quite often bounce off those levels and sometimes and I'd actually pause the video there okay so the reason that jumped I'd pause the video it was, it's quite slow and as I said these four trades took an hour so we're just sitting back and you can see there uh, just here I'm just referring to the higher time frame the anchor chart okay so we have an entry chart have an anchor chart now we can see we easily punch through the pivot so I could have actually picked up a larger move however get in get out get paid so I'm looking at my higher time frame now I actually have that so I've got six screens so I actually have that already displayed normally on other screens here but um, I just wanted to show I must have been I know what I was saying I think I was probably saying if we've got a pullback so say here if we get a retracement a pullback and you've got green candles on your higher time frame ideally you, you want to see red candles now just here uh, confirming the trade now just here I've re-entered here this is another so just there this is another 2b now I'm looking at this and looking down at the pivot down below now there's actually a setup called a descending you've got ascending and descending triangles okay so here we're making lower highs we're not making any lower lows usually that means we'll eventually break to the long side I'm just keeping an eye on the markets here so I've taken this short just here and I'm thinking here about this level do I do I not and we'll see if I scroll down in a moment now I I'm always hesitant at pivots like here ah, that's what I'm looking at okay so I'm just looking down here so potentially we'll get down to that level now this is tough because I've got yesterday's open and I was already had three out of three here and I only needed to make up another 150 or so and I've hit my 157 158 per contract 
and oh, the reason that's important for me is I want a 5% return on the capital I'm engaging well actually two and a half percent in my case but for you uh, for most traders 5% let me show you that what I mean by that first of all and, and then we'll go back and this is important so and this is the sad part about it is so many traders say show me the trades show me the trades but yet money management having a target knowing where to get in get out and manage your back end manage the books here is important so just here if you want to go for 125 a day which is 20 ticks okay on average I need four trades a day to achieve that four net trades after commissions okay and on my 3-1 account I need 20 ticks a day on the other hand we come back to here okay if you're after your 5% return per day that is $157 that's 25 ticks and 25 of those little steps as you go down but look at the massive compound effect and what it means is if you're going for six to seven steps you need between four and five trades a day and you just romp those opportunities in every day with the yen and with most good markets of course different markets like the ES for an example the ES is a totally different market to this it's $12.50 a tick it's a lumbering giant but still offers some great bounces um, and if you look at one of my videos from last week had a great trading day on the ES but it's different okay uh, you don't get the massive waves most of the time you'll get on this market but the point is here 5% return there is 157 two and a half percent return on capital engage is 157 so you'd start off typically with that and you can see where you you your potential is now I only trade eight lots at a time so you'll actually see usually me only trading eight lots on this market but I will add another eight so my income uh, uh, targets are probably going to be totally different to what um, yours are once again I don't need to be earning my 20 30 grand a week so I've got a great lifestyle day trading one to two hours a day as most of you will see on my videos now this is a great target however what you might do is start off conservatively uh, where are we just here $100 a day that's only 16 ticks you start off on 16 which is basically three trades a day net after any losses yes if your goal is to get or be earning 10,000 a week it's going to take you six months to get there time will pass anyway 5,000 a week it's going to take you 19 weeks to get there this is the true potential of this market now over here what actually happened was I was um, thinking okay I should just scalp out at the pivot just here um, and I didn't and I, I got greedy because I could see down below there was a pivot so I thought I would stay with it so if we continue with this and I typed in I should I should have known better and that is I just should have taken what I needed to hit my target for day at yesterday's open at that pivot level and it comes up and so we're live here live recording and I what I'm saying here I should have covered at the pivot that is I should have exited the trade at the pivot it came up right to the tick now let me just explain something uh, to you on my stops Remember before I said to you that um, uh, you can get away with a two and a half thousand dollar account or the three one and the difference is this for stop size if I'm waiting for when with I'd need to show you this but if I'm waiting for what I call my anchor chart one candle to close or to confirm a trade I might have up to a 10 tick stop loss where I can get away if I only use my super scalper with an eight tick stop loss so it means that overall you can trade a smaller account but there's nothing like putting your stop 
one tick above the swing one tick above one tick above so at times you wouldn't have had it over here but at times you're gonna have a stop of up to 10 ticks without going through it and showing you and explaining spending a lot of time um, uh, perhaps you may not be getting the concept but just here you can see here price actions coming right up to test my stop now this is a mistake traders are making every day they move their stops hoping the market will reverse what you'll notice here is I stay with it and I'm expecting to get stopped out here and that's why I'm typing this in I should have known better that is I should have taken my profit you see I can always get back in get in get out get paid because I know when I sell into a pivot there's a very good chance I may get a reversal and we can see here we're sort of bouncing around in a bit of a trading range now so I'm thinking here oh so what happened then it slowed right down and you can see I stayed in it and then it just went bang okay it just popped and I think I'll probably um, well here I'm saying that was close and you can see I was within right within one tick so I'd like to have my stop one tick above one tick below one tick below one tick above now if I enter this trade I'm going to have a smaller stop loss so I'll tuck it in just below so overall it was a, a great trading session one hour but this is where also we've got to sit back for, and we've got to examine our trading each and every day and what I mean by that uh, traders I'll just see what I can't remember what I what I place here is that what can we learn from yes we did finally punch through now we were actually making we we're coming down coming down and just after this there were some great trades anyway that was close but I know better than hung than hang around and hope I'd push through now let me just show you this here um, let me just uh, quickly do this let's quickly go to the charts here uh, and just there and just show you what happened straight after we came down we had fantastic divergence and then there were some fantastic trading opportunities straight after anyway okay so it's just people with myself um, and so my members that are watching this you know how I feel about pivots I'm very cautious because when we sell up those levels quite often we will bounce now I've gone a couple of minutes longer but just one other thing I want to show you here which we sort of jumped ahead here is here are the five things that you've got to really be looking at and they're, they're easy because they plot automatically on your charts you yep ah whoops floor pivots whoops typo floor pivots and Camarilla pivot levels plot automatically they're predictive indicators All right prior open high low and close our major EMAs you can just see how we bounce off those intraday swings and the current days open high low and close now sorry not the close because <laughs> the open high and low so you do look at yesterday's close so they all plot automatically they're easy to learn and we buy and sell into those levels now I, I just want to show you just one more thing and I know we're 38 minutes in into this here but if we then go to here all right so we look at this just here for members watching you can see there we've got a plain vanilla t10 just there okay plain vanilla t10 and I want to point this out how do we know when the market has reversed when should we stop taking these what I want to do is point out three things on my anchor chart this little indicator here and this one just here and let me just do this okay so you've got this point just there now for this entry we're just looking at a little pattern that appears on our entry chart but what about this one I want you to look over at my anchor chart which is a higher time frame normally traders I'd have it expanded like that okay so here we've got um, uh, we've got a little indicator here that you can get for almost every trading platform and that's telling me yes I want to go long I've got another one just here 
see how it's blue go long and here the, my midline go long okay go long now you only need to have actually one of those is confirmation here now from your entry one two three four five six remember before I spoke about six step moves okay so I mentioned six step moves so there it is there I call those steps and here for only for 25 ticks a day which is okay $175 sorry I had a mind blank there you can see there I only need five of those a day five of those a day now one more thing before we sign off see this black line just to you this resistance level we call these t12s having one or two reasons for taking a trade is fantastic but when you have three or four is great so I've got a pivot bounce I've got major divergence we call that divergence on the higher time frame okay and I've got a t12 a loaded trade anyway I've gone far much longer than what I wanted to uh, go here so traders become a member come and join me and let me teach you how to trade these as I mentioned um, look it just trends beautifully now we could also go and look at lots of other markets um, for an example we can now on this one we've got the ES now if we look at this now this is the now this is a difference by the way and this is where you really want to um, which markets going to give me the best bank for the buck now if you want to be trading 100 200 300 contracts yes this is a market to go for the ES however note how choppy we can get now there's been some fantastic opportunities today and I know it is after hours okay we're in the globe session and by the way we're only 30 minutes away from the London open but but there's a massive difference between Silvis chop okay so there's a huge difference but then we've got oil as well which we can uh, which we trade now oil has got fantastic benefits okay it can train really well however early in the globex session it can be it's very thinly traded but from now on in uh, that is end of a London open then leading into New York we get some great uh, trading opportunities but what I want to show you was right here is the Russell now the Russell is five dollars a tick let me just correct this chart here is five dollars a tick but see the difference here between what we were just looking at yes you'll get some nice ways we go back here okay and remember time of day is important so this is the open of a globex session way back here so it's been some beautiful wave opportunities however it's thinly traded you can still trade uh, five eight ten contracts but you just got to be prepared for some slippage anyway 45 minutes into this this is a, a record really come and join me see you in my coaching room thanks traders cheers